Hey, what's up guys? Double O Sippin here, ready to play another game of Civilization VI. Welcome back for another chapter of this Chandra Gupta playthrough. Last episode, we managed to pick up the Great Bath and look at these tasty, tasty, tasty yields on our floodplain. Very, very nice. Very, very beautiful. We managed to settle quite a few cities as well. Uh, we're kind of pushing to the east now, and we're going to try and get a border with Mabemba. So we have some plans to settle some cities. We have uh, one, two more cities we want to settle there, one here. Potentially, we might push closer towards uh, the Zulus. I know the Zulus were unhappy that we settled our city so close to them, but you know what? Screw them. We might actually settle some more cities to the east or the west as well. And we have a settler going on an adventure, going to settle this city right here so he can build the Giga Mausoleum. This is going to be some very, very tasty yields. I'm very excited about this. So hopefully we can get that online this episode. Um, Yeah. So why don't we just continue on as well? We are working on picking up guilds, which is going to give us a governor title. That governor title we are going to spend in Moksha. We are going to promote him with patron saint. That is going to allow apostles that are trained in the city to receive one extra promotion when uh, receiving their first promotion, which is why we're actually hanging on to our faith right now we also are in a heroic age so we do have five turns until we get guilds so we are waiting on picking up more apostles until we get guilds and then we're going to start pumping out apostles out of my sword my sword but for now i think it's not a bad idea to just pick up one settler and use that settler to continue to settle the city to the east very exciting stuff um, i'm very much enjoying this game so far and i think that's that's like the main thing is to enjoy the game you know what i mean we are starting to spread our religion a little bit to uh, Mavemba because I know that he he does like that and it looks like somebody's spreading the religion to Kukwana that I don't actually know so that is something that we got to keep in mind Jesus look at these yields I'm really glad that we grabbed fire goddess one more spread slut praise baby we do not slut shame on this channel i'm telling you we do have a trade route available to us i wouldn't mind actually trading with singapore to be honest uh it would build a nice road to jabal Pur as well we could trade with johannesburg for an envoy which actually seems very very nice um i think i'm going to trade with johannesburg for the extra envoy boom let's buy this tile we're going to chop out the holy site picked up another settler over here very nice the settler is gonna go settle this city next and then i want to push even further in this direction with this settler and we're just gonna keep pumping settlers out of patna that is the main objective of patna is to build settlers i think let's go ahead and grab a shrine we're just gonna build up the infrastructure so we can increase our faith per turn Got ourselves a nice farm triangle, so the city, these cities will grow very, very nicely. Ooh, Lady Six Sky, my girl. She is way the hell over here. I think she's actually the master of the Zoro... Zoroastrianism. I, I don't know how to say it. Zoroastrianism. I know that I just butchered that religion name and I hope I didn't offend anybody. Yeah, she is the founder of that religion. I don't know how to say that religion's name. Zoroastrianism. I'm going to pick up a lighthouse in uh, my source so that we can get one more trade route online. And, and then we might want to think about what we want to build in here. Probably things like uh, maybe a theater square would be really good for some extra culture. Not that we really need the extra culture. Diplomatic quarter for some extra envoys i actually really want to build this this temple of artemis i think this temple of artemis would be absolutely insane actually right where the diplo quarter is the temple of artemis would be absolutely bananas insane extra amenities and extra housing extra food this city would grow massively i wouldn't have to interrupt patna you know what i'm i'm actually i'm i'm tempted to do it and i am gonna do it screw the lighthouse we're going for the temple of artemis if nobody builds it i'm building it um i was i was actually wanting to build it earlier in the game and it, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. I didn't think it was going to last and it totally did last. So yeah, we're, we are totally going for it. I'm going to chop this out. I want to get that shrine online. Oh no, there goes my scout. Oh no. Did we lose something? What, what just died? I think I just lost a settler, didn't I? I just lost a goddamn settler. Oh my God. Oh, that is so bad. My God. That's so annoying. Well, that was a waste of production and faith. God, that hurts. That hurts my, that hurts me. I cannot believe, I cannot believe. Okay, well, you know, that is, that's my mistake. That's what happens. That is just what happens. Why don't we settle Calcutta right here? Calcutta is gonna need a little bit of help. And I think that help is going to be from Magnus. 
We're gonna chop out the mausoleum in here. How we're gonna get production in here is is beyond my me, really. Um, what I could do is I could chop out the harbor and then slow build the mausoleum. I'm definitely gonna come in here and buy that. God, I can't believe we just lost the settler. Okay, we'll chop out the shrine, pick up that temple. That is one of the most painful losses uh, of this game. I'm telling you, it is, it is, it is fucking painful. I tell you, very, very Jesus. It, it's like, you know, like I can see, oh man, oh, never mind. All right, let's pick up patron saint. And I believe we did build a mosque in here. We did. So why don't we grab an apostle? Boom. That's going to be a two promotion apostle six spreads on this apostle too which is insane um so now that we have guilds we're gonna pick up divine right and then reform church i do want to buy these two tiles i am gonna wait for magnus to be settled in here though oh no 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 three gold per turn a little bit of open borders sounds good to me freddy boy wants a little bit of open borders as well so let's get it aid request is just oh fuck oh shit i lost the aid request i think i'm gonna vote up industrial city states only because i have a trade route with industrial city states now as far as amenities concerned they're probably gonna vote down ivory so i guess we vote down ivory which sucks for us but you know what those diplo points mean something in the end ivory boom excellent so we got that aid request is lost we won one diplo point from that world congress with this apostle we get two promotions i think i'm gonna grab the translator promotion first boom we lost the aid request that we were the only member i swear to god we could have just tossed him one gold and uh we would have won that so that was a that was actually kind of a mistake we definitely should have tossed him a little bit of cash for that but uh we didn't so too bad i guess we do have an envoy and uh, i do kind of want to grab an envoy with our ma it is going to net us a little bit of faith i could wait next turn until uh i switch up my government and plug in diplomatic league so you know what maybe maybe i'll just hold off for now and for a second promotion unfortunately we don't have the well we have a proselytizer we have triple strength we could grab orator and then that'll be you know eight charges of triple strength and we have a five charge proselytizer we're making 112 faith per turn which is incredible so we definitely want to keep grabbing more um apostles in here kill while was done so we didn't actually stand a chance here's divine right i'm not going to worry about changing my government because i don't have to okay let's settle a city three era score thank you very much there's definitely a harbor we should probably try and get a farm triangle in here so that this city can grow which will require a little bit of chopping we do want to grab a granary first thing so maybe what i'll do is i'll just buy the granary boom and then we'll start working on a monument i do want to place the harbor but we'll go monument and we'll do a little bit of chopping. Get this farm triangle online. When I saw the house of Here it is. Mounted to the clouds. Temple of Artemis. Each camp, pasture, and plantation improvement within four tiles of this wonder provide plus one amenities. And it also gives us plus four food and I believe plus three housing in the city that builds it. So Mysore has quite a bit of housing, lots of amenities. We're going to have a ton of amenities in here. As a matter of fact, speaking of amenities... Let's just make sure that we keep buying amenities. We keep selling amenities for a little bit of gold. We keep picking up friendships. Um, we don't want, you know, warmongering civs to roll up on us at any time and kill us. Uh, we'll send him a delegation as well. Everything's good. Let's just get open borders with everybody as well, you know. Just kind of make things a little bit funner, a little bit more peaceful, you know. Nice chill, nice hangout game, you know. Everybody's friendly. She doesn't have any gold. That's okay. What about you, Dido? You want open borders? Of course you want open borders. How about a little bit of gold from you? What about uh, what about you, Freddy boy? You got open borders. My man, my man. We'll send Cleopatra some delegations. And delegation. What about you? Do you want delegations? No, you're unwelcomed. Well, you can go screw yourself. Well, we're definitely going to get a golden age um, next era. So why don't I go ahead and pick up one more apostle. Boom. That's a six charge apostle, which is incredible. We have six more turns in this era, which means let's just grab as many apostles as possible in this era with Moksha, double promoted apostles, extra charges because of our exodus of the evangelist. Having printing would be so sick. If we could get, if we could get 
Oh my god. If we could get a uh, Forbidden City here. Jesus Christ. The theater squares that would be in the city would just be bonkers. Bonkers. A couple of theater squares there. Pretty good culture. I mean, I don't know if this is the direction that we're going to take it, but man, what, that would be bonkers. I, and, and, and I mean, I'm in, I'm in no rush, you know? I'm in no rush to grab cartography, buttress, and mass production. I could always pick up printing. I mean, really, I'm just focusing on building my empire up, getting my holy sites online, getting my religions settled. Let's chop this out. Boom. 13 turns until we pick up that harbor. Yeah, we're just, we're just trying to get stuff online, you know, just so that we can spread our religion. We're getting our apostles. Major flood mitigated. Oh, yes. Look at this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. those yields, man, are just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let's pick up a mosque in here. Yeah, let's pick up a mosque. Mosque in here is going to be very nice. Very, very tasty. Okay, we got an apostle. Let's step over here. Grab our promotion. Pilgrim seems like a really good promotion if we had a wonder near us. And I don't know if we do. I can't remember if there's a wonder near us there was a delicate arch here and that's actually quite far away mm, wow there is quite a fire going on over here jesus we definitely should settle a city over here mm, and that might be this settler here i mean i've i've lost a settler in this direction already so maybe maybe sending this settler over here to settle a city like right here and get a piece of these tasty yields over here uh it would be really really cool yeah i don't know if pilgrim is the way to go martyr actually might be pretty cool because if we die we get a great relic man i really wish yervan was in this game i guess we could try to run by i think he's got a wonder in his empire doesn't he there is okay so he's got the pantanel she's got the delicate arch and that's about it i don't see anything else unfortunately we we did not spawn near wonder so i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna bother with pilgrim i think i'll just promote with Martyr. Okay, let's chop out this harbor. I do want to grab a mausoleum in here. Halicarnassus. Boom. There it is. Let's get it online. Uh, we'll build a bunch of mines in here. I can switch Magnus out of here. Let's put Magnus back in the capital. Boom. And then why don't we put Liang in the city of Calcutta. And then we'll pick up a builder in here and try to help the city out the city is struggling got another settler and i really do want to forward settle movemba but i also want to settle this city near the the fires so why don't we head in that direction i'm not going to stop picking up settlers nine turn settlers are amazing so we're just going to keep pumping out settlers this, this city is the main job for the city is to pump out settlers so that's exactly what we're going to do in here we should definitely pick up a city to pump out a bunch of builders and i think mysore is going to be it uh once we pick up this lighthouse i think this city is going to be the city for pumping out at least a couple of builders in here i think that's going to be that's going to be good we need to pick up some builders we need to improve we need to help out this city here this city is struggling i should have had a builder over here much sooner matter of fact i could probably pick up a builder for gold and use that builder to improve a little bit because this city is struggling quite a bit. This city is as well struggling. I mean, this city could use a couple of mines. Place a mine here. And for a second promotion, we do have a debater promotion available. So let's grab that. Another farm. Boom. All right, we have an extra trade route available. And that was up here. That's right. We finished the lighthouse. Beautiful. We're not going to build this mausoleum here. I do kind of want to big pick up a builder in here and do a little bit of improvement the only problem is every single one of the tiles in here are just going to get pillaged so maybe we're just going to naturally enjoy the yields in here and maybe we'll just slowly work a trader for now because i'm using my faith to pick up missionaries and apostles over here mostly apostles right now let's chop out the monument Boom. Let's get the harbor down. Plus one era score. We got ourselves reformed church. So we have unlocked the government theocracy. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we are going to stick with probably for the rest of the game. Religious order seems actually really good. Um, but right now, this government makes a lot of sense. Scripture is giving us an extra 10 faith per turn, which is really, really nice. Is there any military cards that I can think of that I really want to plug in? I definitely want to plug in the charismatic leader card. Republican leg 
legacy seems really cool, but I don't have any space to actually put it in. We could grab some extra amenities with retainers, which actually sounds pretty good. I think we're going to pick up uh, conscription for now. Conscription's fine. It's extra six gold per turn. Now that we have theocracy, let's pick up military training for that extra envoy and the veterancy card. We are building quite a few harbors, so actually veterancy would be a really good card to have plugged in there. Let's finish up this farm triangle. Boom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think we have enough faith actually to purchase another apostle. Boom. I'm gonna build a mine here. These tiles are gonna look amazing here fairly soon. We have one more turn on this heroic age. Let's declare friendship with Dido. <laughs> ha, shut up. And uh, so I think that's it. I think um, I think that's it for religious. Ooh, you know what though? You know what though? I think we get extra charges on our missionaries as well. So why don't we pick up a couple of mission? Oh, I, you know what? I probably should have done that in my sore. Honestly, that was a mistake because we we want the mosque and we don't have a mosque in Patna. Yeah, that was a mistake. We'll pick up a missionary in here as well. Take the extra charges where we can. Eight charge missionary. That is insane. Now we can pace, basically take the religious units that we have and run over the religion in the Zulu Empire. Or we can head in the other direction and we can convert uh, with no troubles at all, Dido and maybe crush the, the religion of Shinto. Now, Shinto belongs to Egypt. So that is quite a feat, but I think it's worth doing. And I, I don't think it's gonna take much to convert Zulu. So I don't. I, I think what we can do is we can head in that general direction and just convert all of Dido and then Germany. Uh, we got a golden age. Everybody's got a uh, normal age or a dark age, which is very nice. So good for us. I do wanna pick up monumentality. I think monumentality is really, really cool. The only thing is, it's like, how many more cities do we really want to settle? We definitely want to settle two more cities here. There's definitely another city to be settled over here. And then, you know what? There is actually quite a bit of land up here. So, you know what? I think we will take monumentality. I think monumentality is very, very cool. Very, very neat. So, now I do want to keep my faith, though, for spreading my religion. So, you know what? No. Let's go Exodus. I think Exodus is super, super super powerful. Ah, it's really hard to say. If I grab this now, yeah, I think we go Exodus. We are we are going to spread our religion. That's exactly what we're doing. So, we're we're on our way to 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 converting Dido next. So, this that's going to be the big one. There is already an apostle here, and I don't like this apostle, so why don't we step back? Now, we do have plus 5 combat strength, so we can take him. This apostle still has a promotion to take. And I think it's going to be Chaplin. But why don't I step up over? We promote with Chaplin. What, what is this guy? This guy is an orator and a translator. And then I do have another apostle somewhere, don't I? Oh, here he is. This guy's got the debater promotion. So he's who I want to hit first. So why don't I grab our Chaplin promotion? We hit him. We kill him. Boom. Um, I am going to refuse to listen to Dido because I am going to convert her 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 cities definitely to my religion. That's definitely going to happen. Let's do a little bit of chopping. I mean, we have some very, very tasty rainforest here, and I think we can do a little bit of chopping here and get some things online. We definitely need a granary in the city. As a matter of fact, it's actually worth um, selling to buy. I should actually pick up a trader in here as well we get seven turns until we get this trader jesus is there any way to get more production in here not unless i have a builder well seven turns whatever it is what it is i am gonna buy this this granary because it is a damn shame to uh let food go to waste and we'll pick up a lighthouse also i do want to pick up a holy site in here and it's not going to be the best holy site so i'm probably just going to place one right there and what i'll do is i'll send this builder up here to chop that out after i improve this mega colossal eruption right here look at those delicious yields here man that is a beautiful 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 tile uh we finished the temple in this city let's grab a mosque i do want to pick up a harbor eventually but i think picking up our infrastructure is more important definitely want to pick up a holy site in here as well picking up a builder in here would be really really good as well let's go for a watermill granary or granary watermill holy site and this holy site will live right there sell a little bit of luxuries for some gold 
We still have a promotion on this guy. I can convert heathens. Oh, gain 100 gold if this unit converts a city to your religion for the first time. Ooh, that's a good way to generate gold. I'm not interested in losing my religious units here, so definitely need to be careful around this barbarian. Now, we do have the debater here, so why don't we attack. Attack. And attack. Boom. Missionary is on the way in to convert some cities. I'm hoping this guy does not attack me. Oh, he did. He killed my missionary. Oh my God. That is so... I mean, at least it was just a missionary, but God damn. God damn. All right. We need to get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get a little bit of a military. I can't believe he did that, you little bastard. I'm so glad that wasn't an apostle. Jesus Christ. That is very, very annoying. I am not happy about that at all, man. Jesus Christ. I am just about to uh, lose it. I could buy a Varu actually for 480 gold. Boom. That is four era score. It's actually much cheaper than I thought they were. I might use the Varu to kill this guy. I am so angry about losing that missionary. And another era score. We picked up printing. This city, my sword is going to build oh somebody already built it god damn it god damn it when did that happen ah well the dream is dead we're not doing it we could build a colossus that would give me a trade route uh we should actually build a trade route okay well printing is dead let's not worry about it let's go for buttress that will lead into cartography we got kicked out of uh movemba's land so we got to double check we got open borders with everybody and the way that i do that is i just kind of look right here and we got it. Perfect. I do want to send him a delegation. Your delegation has been allowed to visit our capital. Excellent. So she's going to be a little bit more friendly to us. So, okay. So I'm not going to worry too much about that barb. I might try to divert my religious units around and just kind of get my units down here. We'll convert most of our cities and then this city will convert passively. So nothing to stress out about. I was stressing a little bit, but we don't really need to stress anymore. I am going to pick up one apostle out of here. Mm, do I want an apostle or do I want missionaries? I think I'm going to go apostle. Yeah, we'll go apostle. All right, let's settle our city here. Boom. We got these very tasty yields here. Luck now. What a good city name. That is very, very cool. I should definitely pick up a granary in here. I definitely want to pick up ancient walls though, because we do know that there is a barb camp somewhere. Let's buy the granary. Let's chop ancient walls and then i'm gonna send this builder over here to do something with the city because the city is struggling maybe i'll pick up the crab um uh, maybe i can improve some fish give it some extra food so that the city grows i want to get this mausoleum online maybe we can even plug in the the wonder building card i don't know i'm so mad about losing that missionary i'm so mad about losing that settler jesus I mean, what an episode. We got ourselves a great admiral, which is kind of cool, I guess. Plus one sight range for all naval units. Allows naval units to move over ocean tiles without the normal technology. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, so we got that going on, which is sweet. What is going on with the city? I don't like, dude, figure this out, man. Okay, we got a promotion. Let's promote with indulgence vendor, I guess. Finished a builder, incredible. This builder needs to be used in Delhi because the city is struggling. Let's pick up a bunch of mines in here, I think. Let's chop out that tile and we'll place the holy site right here. And we will construct thy holy site next turn. This builder is gonna be used to help the mausoleum. Oh, what a heartbreak. What a heartbreak that was. They're not going to be happy about us spreading our religion. You know what? It's probably not a bad idea as well to actually pick up like a guru. Let's get a guru down there. Debater and martyr. Boom. Oh, you forward settled me. But that's okay. I understand. I would have done the exact same thing, honestly. So we got ancient walls. Let's pick up a monument. I do want to pick up a, uh, not a granary, a uh, harbor in here after now let's get this settler settled and i don't want to be near this stupid volcano anymore so let's settle that city we're going to pick up one more settler settle that city and then we're going to see where we want to settle next definitely another city to be settled on this little island we can either settle here actually we, we should settle here and then settle 
this. I would like to convert Johannesburg. I'll pick up another missionary in here. And our trade route to Shaka is done. We have actually converted one of their cities to our religion through religious pressure, which is very cool. I think we want to continue to spread our religion. And I would actually like to build a little bit of a road through my cities. So maybe sending a trade route to Kinshasa would be actually pretty cool. So why don't we see if we can trade with the city of Mabulji Mai for the extra science, extra culture. And it's going to build a nice little road through our kind of cities, which is kind of cool as well. Second promotion is going to be Prozelithizer. Boom. Convert. Johannesburg, 120 science, just like that. And it gave us an envoy with Johannesburg and we're suzerain of them now, which is actually we're not suzerain of them. I thought we were suzerain of them. All right, there's medieval fairs, which gave us a governor title. I think actually grabbing divine architect might be kind of cool, but except we don't want to spend our faith on anything but religious units. So that's not going to happen. Let's think about maybe picking up Pingala. Pingala will give us a little bit of science and culture. And you know what? It's going to go really well in our our second biggest city. So I think what we'll do is we'll put him into Mysore. And Mysore will be just one of those cities that gains us um, a little bit of culture and science passively. And then we'll put Moksha in the city of Delhi because we do have a mosque in Delhi. So um, we'll have extra spreads and we'll as well get the extra promotion. I think this city needs uh, a good international trade route. And why don't we trade with the city of Frankfurt? for a little bit of gold, a little bit of science, a little bit of culture, and it's gonna give us a little bit of religious pressure. Boom, finish the trade route finally in Agra, and uh, we can trade with Egypt, and I think we will. Boom, there you go. I haven't seen many barbs actually in this game, which is actually pretty, pretty um, rare because they're usually always bothering me. This city needs something to build and I'm okay with maybe grabbing a, a holy site in here. The city will constantly be fixing that holy site, but I think picking up a holy site is uh is something that we gotta do it's just something that we gotta do you know we picked up a harbor and this city needs some help as well actually you know what picking up a builder in here would be really really good let's get this guy over here my that builder that we were just talking about definitely go for that lighthouse and we do want to place a holy site and i think that holy site is going to go right here and we'll just have to place a farm triangle right here we'll just keep sending our units deep 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 to convert their cities one more boom oh slut praise all right let's attack this missionary boom weaken him him we finished the aqueduct in mumbai jesus i i swear i had forgotten about this city so long ago not a bad idea to pick up a shrine definitely this city needs a builder as well we should actually have one city building a bunch of builders and maybe that city is going to be delhi and probably worth actually plugging Li ang back in the city of Delhi. Although we do have Moksha in here. So this is gonna be our city that we produce many, many uh, religious units. So actually maybe we put, where can I produce? Maybe the city of S Sriracha. Um, we'll put a, we'll put, we'll put Liang in the city of Sriracha, boom. And this might be our builder settler. Builder, building, builder building city. All right, there you are, you bastard. Let's convert the city. Triple strength, boom, slut praise, my man. Ooh, oh, we can't actually pick up tribal villages with religious units. Wouldn't that be something? All right, another trader. I think I will use this city to generate some builders. And you know what? Instead of plugging Pingala in here, I will put Liang in the city of Mysore just so that I can get that extra build charge. And Pingala will just be placed in here, um, just generating a little bit of science, a little bit of culture as well. The mosque is done in Delhi and this city is ready to do something. Now, I don't really know what else to build. We do have a holy site. We have a harbor, so we have a trade route. We could build some theater squares. Uh, we could build a plus four campus. It is a nice campus we should actually pick up a diplo quarter of one of our cities i definitely should actually have an aqueduct so why don't we grab an aqueduct for that little bit of housing it'll give the city something to do as well and we'll trade with dido for that religious pressure and i think what we'll do is we'll trade with this city here and that'll give it some 
some religious pressure for it to deal with. I do want to convert the city with the indulgence uh, that I have here. So what I'll do is I'll maybe use a charge, boom, and then another charge, boom. Excellent, so we've converted Tyre. Unfortunately, we did not use the guy with indulgence, which is unfortunate. Not the end of the world. We do have actually quite a bit of faith as well. Maybe not a bad idea to pick up a couple of missionaries. And we can grab a couple missionaries in my soar. Prove this. Calcutta, I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna buy that tile here. I do wanna chop it out so that the city will grow. Or I can just improve it and force the city to work it. And then the city will grow much faster. Missionary converting more cities. Apostle joining in, excellent. And it looks like we made it to the bottom of the map. If I look in here, it looks like my religion is dominant over Dido. So we don't have to convert any more of her cities. Our friendships are running out. We should grab friendships with everybody again. Mega colossal eruption. We've lost three population in one of our cities, probably the city of Mumbai. This city is struggling actually quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, like we no longer have walls in the city. Let's grab another friendship with our man here, Freddy boy. And let's grab another friendship. Ooh, I don't think Mavemba is going to grab a friendship with us, unfortunately. It looks like he's uh he's not ready. He's uh not ready. What about you? Are you willing? We are aligned. Hell yeah. Thank you. Perfect. So let's let's uh let's do a little bit of uh sexual healing on these guys and let's uh let's head out and uh see what we can do here. I did I do want to kill this this missionary if I can. Boom. Excellent. And I do have a couple of missionaries to convert the city of Byblos, I think it's called. And it looks like the city of Trier is going to flip to me. So I'm gonna head in that direction with my war elephant to see if we can uh, kill any of these guys. As a matter of fact, I should probably pick up maybe one more war elephant in case we have to deal with, oh my God, they have line infantry. We don't stand a chance. We don't stand a chance. All right, let's convert. Ooh, they have an apostle here, which is scary. I am going to convert. That's plus four error score. Very nice. I think I have a debater somewhere, don't I? There he is. That's the debater that I want. So this debater has to come deal with this issue here. He's not a debater, which is fine. So let's run him into the city. Hide away. We have cartography. Very nice. Um, I do want to place a lumber mill here pretty soon. Let's grab square rigging. Or no, let's pick up stirrups for the plus one food on pastures. We do want to place a lumber mill here and I don't know exactly where that's going to happen. Hmm. I could actually place a lumber mill here with this builder. That's what I'll do. Okay, Moksha is settled in the city of Delhi, so I'm going to pick up an apostle. Looks like there's a war going on between Germany and uh, Dido. So I'm really glad that I'm friends with both of them so that I don't have to get involved. There's no units here. We could easily take the city with the war elephants if we want. And let's chop, boom. I'm gonna send these two missionaries to the north, see if I can convert some of uh, Shaka cities. There's my debater. So if I put him here, bring another guy next to him, maybe even bring this guy next to him, attack really hurt him really bad. I should actually pick up maybe one more guru. Boom. All right, time for murder. Boom. Shinto is no longer in the city of Byblos. Settling another city. Boom. Look at that city of Shanae. Fantastic. We could place a harbor maybe right there, which means potential for a holy site maybe right here, which would be really, really cool. And then we could build a holy site right there. So why don't we start working on a granary monument? Chop this out for 166 gold. This city I'm gonna buy this tile here. I want to place another mine over there. Another promotion for this apostle. Why don't we grab the orator promotion, I guess? Boom. Settle too close. Um, yeah, no. So that actually might piss them off. So we might want to pick up some, uh, some walls in some of these cities. Uh, we don't know yet. We don't know how pissed off he is. So we're going to pick up a granary in here. Definitely should be working this three food, one production tile. Now that we have stirrups, our sheep on Calcutta is actually looking really good. So we're down to a 23 turn build, which is not bad, but not amazing. I really want the city to grow. It actually needs a little bit of housing. Um, so I'm going to buy a granary. That's going to help it grow a little bit faster. Eight turns is not too bad. I could buy actually this tile. 
chop that out, force it to grow. Did get another settler. Let's get that settler over to this city over here. Oh man, I don't know if we stand a chance. Let's uh, let's get this guy. All right, we do have the proselytizer. So boom, converted. Got 100 gold and 140 science science from that so that's pretty cool i do want my debater to to kill this guy if i can yeah let's do it let's take a big chunk out of him the more apostles we kill the better uh because that's just wasted faith for them oh my god he's denouncing me jesus christ here we go here we go now we gotta start building walls everywhere um and that's exactly what i'm gonna do in here i'm gonna build walls and then monument i am gonna build a lumber mill somewhere and you know what it's right here this is where it is boom mass production now we can build shipyards everywhere. That's going to be some extra production everywhere. Like this city here. I mean, that shipyard is plus four production, which isn't amazing, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Definitely want to pick up a lighthouse and a shipyard in here. So if I can actually sell some luxuries here um, for a little bit of hard cash, buy those extra luxuries so that I can get those amenities still, but still, still sell everything that I own just for some raw gold and maybe some niter, some horses and some iron. Doesn't look like anybody has much raw gold except for Frederick. So I'm going to grab whatever I can off him. He's got a little bit of raw gold. And then everybody else, I guess I'll just grab gold per turn. That's going to be fine. So in Calcutta, I can come in here, buy that lighthouse. And then I do want to pick up that shipyard because that's going to be plus three production. The city's sitting at nine production, which is very, very low. I am going to come over here with my builder and chop this out to force the city to grow. So it works a third or a second mine tile. Finally, the debater is going to kill this guy. First, I'm going to heal my debater. Boom. There you go. There you go. Excellent. A couple of gurus kind of running around is super helpful just to heal up my apostles, you know, when they can. Ooh, there's another guy here, except he's got the debater promotion, which is scary. I do have a proselytizer here. Boom. I should actually get my debater in this general direction to take this guy on. Let's see if we can run around this guy, convert as many of his cities as we can. I'm going to leave this apostle here to take a hit from him. That way this uh, proselytizer doesn't get killed. And then this missionary will just have to run around. Okay, we just took a major hit here. That's okay. Uh, not the end of the world. We will start running away. We have much more movement than they do because we have Exodus of the Evangelist. Not only that, but we have missionary zeal on our apostles and these guys oh i hate it when they do that that is like one of my biggest pet peeves it's my own fault really for not micromanaging but jesus christ that is super triggering uh when they do that but let's put a couple envoys i think in our ma having those envoys will net us a little bit more faith boom that just netted us about eight faith not a ton of faith but just a little bit of faith and that's faith return right so that faith return does add up a little bit this debater needs to get his ass down here and this guy can do a little bit of healing magic on him another builder finished in my sore now what city needs help i know this city mumbai needs a lot of help all right let's chop out the granary one turn until we get ancient walls i really want to get the hell out of here there's another ai that i haven't met yet finish a shrine let's pick up a temple i would like to pick up a little more gold maybe some diplo favor if anybody's got some cash for it who's got the raw gold looks like you've got some raw gold um actually i delete that and i sell you half my diplo favor and i sell half my diplo favor to shaka i should have enough gold to buy the shipyard in calcutta boom now this is a 15 turn uh thing then i chop this boom now it's grown to four population we're working two mines now which is incredible we do have extra food in here actually so you know what we don't really need to be working this we can actually work this just fine turn this into a nine turn mausoleum which would seem very very tasty yeah i'm bringing my debater down we got to get these gurus in on this because these guys are going to keep them alive i got to kill this debater because this debater is going to be a big problem i'm going to do a little bit of exploring with my missionary these guys are kind of hiding right now i really do want to convert germany before i work on egypt there's probably a way around actually oh no that's not good let's get the hell out of there no nope, we're not going that way boys uh that apostle it might be gone unfortunately oh god we're stuck okay stay there stay there hopefully we survive i i really hope we do that would be really really shameful if we 
if we lose, if we lose our uh, religious units, I mean, it's such a waste of faith at that point. We will grab another apostle though. I really do want to convert Brussels to our religion. 140 science. This is uh, pretty sweet. We're going to be putting some, uh, some, some religious pressure on Norbamba. So why don't we just start working it down a little bit? We have a little bit of a, a barb issue here and I'm not in love with it. Hopefully we can deal with it with our war elephants and hopefully they don't go after this apostle right here. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Okay, okay. This is uh, this is actually a nightmare. This is actually a nightmare, dude. Oh my god, this city is dead. I don't even know how we're gonna beat this. Oh my god. Uh, let's weaken him. This is gonna be a huge issue. We should probably grab some sort of a unit to defend actually so maybe instead of work in the monument or that harbor we should actually pick up some more units and i don't even know what units we should grab we should probably grab a pikeman and we could probably get rid of some of these cards like maybe get rid of retainers and plug in the feudal contract card so pikemen are much cheaper yeah let's get let's get some pikemen let's get some pikemen yeah 10 turn pikemen this city can use a pikeman as well Let's convert spread our religion a little bit boom he's pissed about it that's uh his problem so we got castles very nice we insta got castles because of our uh suzerainty with fez which is excellent i mean we're we don't have <laughs> we don't have a little uh literally we don't have a single theater square or a campus this game we we have mostly mostly been running on holy sites and that's about it we don't we don't have this we don't we don't have anything we're just about to pick up the mausoleum we've grown our empire just massively we're just about to settle uh yet another city somewhere there you are on the way but i think i'm going to call that the end of the episode i appreciate you guys watching if you've enjoyed this episode please hit that like button and leave me a comment and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.